Okay, hi. Here I explain how to install the KioAir app software. First, it is important you have connected to internet. You can do it into the screen to go to settings, go to the Wi-Fi and search for your um, Wi-Fi address or connect to LEN. If you have done that, then you have connected to internet you have to install the app, the APK from KioAir. You can download, down, download the, the, the app from uh, the KioAir website or you can download it from the Play Store. I have just downloaded it from the KioAir uh, website and I put it on a USB stick. I put the USB stick in the back side And then we go to the Explorer, we go to the USB storage, we go to QR kiosk and then you have to, for security you have to go to settings and you have to say unknown sources or OK and then you go back and you press again and then you the next install. Now it's installing the KioAir app and then open. Then there is some uh, rights which you have to agree upon. And then you go into uh, the first stage of KioAir. This is how to um, get into uh, the KioAir app. It's now explaining how to do it. Uh, because the KioAir uh, app is uh, executed and if you want to go out of it you have to press each corner one time and then you go into uh, a logout screen uh, I will show you right now, I demonstrate it right now so you have to press here, press here, press here, press here now you have to do it again for testing and he says it's you've done it on a OK and now you have really to have to go outside you press it again it's only for the first time if you start up uh, the KioAir installation you have to do it so you have to press this corner this corner this corner and this corner now you go out in the pass out uh, code so you have to press the standard code and now you're out of the KioAir app when you press on the app key, you see the apps and there's installed now the KioAir and the KioAir Convic. The KioAir is a real uh, kiosk app and the Convic app is where you have to put in your settings. So we first have to put in our settings. You find your uh, settings on start page URL. You can press here in your starting page URL. And you have to also you have always to put in the, the, the total web address. So you have to put in http For instance we uh, do uh, just a standard uh, website like Google Google.com. So if you have put in your uh, desired web address, your kiosk will always start with this address. You can ask, uh, you can give in the settings, do you want to start on boot? So if you restart your device, it will automatically start up the kiosk app always. If you don't want it, you don't select this one. Well, we say we want it. Um, then there are some settings in the, the KioAir app in the config which in which you can change a lot of things which you want to have it's upon yourself what you like to uh, set up there are some standard things we always do is how to play the media uh, we go to attract uh, inactivity you can have a uh, default inactivity timer we press it on zero if we don't have uh, a slideshow in the front 
You can select uh, a slideshow as well as a uh, screensaver, but that will be shown on another uh, explanation video. Um, then we go to toolbar. In this toolbar, you can change uh, a lot of things for, uh, let's say, you want the back button, you want the forward button, you want a home button. It's over here. You can change the logo. You can change it in your own logo. You can change the text. Standard, it is uh, standard text, which you can put in here, like, let's say, kiosk. Okay. And let's say we don't want a logout button. We don't want a logo. Okay, and then you can go to other settings. Then the last is this license. You have to license the, the KioWare. In here you can license uh, the, the KioWare. Yeah, we get an electronic license. You will get it from KioWare or from us. And you fill in the codes which you re receive. In here we have a uh, KioWare license certificate. In here we put in the license transaction code. And you have to continue on this and if you have done that you go uh, and you have to put in the authorization code as well and then you say okay and then it looks up if your license is okay and you're ready to go well for this stage I we do it next time so when you're ready you just go to home and you go to Kioware and you say just once you go to the the apps and then press on KioWare. Now it will look up and now it, it's, it's showing that your um, that Google is now playing. In the bottom you still see the navigation bar. You can also switch off the navigation bar. Um, you can do it by logging out. And then press 3523, three, the standard code. You can change this code in your own code. So you have your own code. You have to go back to config. And in the toolbar, you will find the immersive mode. And if you press on the immersive mode, it will make it um, will drop away the navigation bar. And in um, let's say it's in security you can disable the status bar so if you press on this one you will disable as well the, dis the status bar navigation bar so no one uh, can use it anymore so then you go out and you go to the KioWare app it starts again and now you will see that um, it will be full screen You will see there is no bar in the bottom and also at the top that bar has disappeared. You can see here the kiosk which we typed in in the settings. Now it's in demo mode. If you have put in your license code this demo mode will disappear. And if you want your own logo you can put here your logo in the settings. So if we press on something it will give new results and you go back here and here you can go to home and this is refresh well this is at the basics uh, basic in uh, uh, setups if you have any questions uh, please let us know okay thank you